Hello, this is an instructional video on how to use the Keithley Model 6517B electrometer high resistance meter to make high resistance measurements. We will show you how to make connections to the device under test and how to set up the configuration from the front panel. This is the front panel of the Model 6517B high resistance meter electrometer. This is what we're going to show you how to use to make high resistance measurements, the typical connections. This here is just this little test box that we've constructed so that we have the device inside a safe environment to be able to make this measurement. Here is a closer view of the test fixture we've constructed to make these types of measurements. If you open it up, you can take a look. We have a magnet switch here so that when you put this on top, that will automatically enable the interlock circuit. So if you were to lift this off, the circuit would close and the voltage source would be disabled. This is for safety purposes. The other thing we wish to show is that in here you can see there is a 100 gig ohm resistor. And the, this resistor is connected inside the box to the triax terminal and part to the voltage source. Now I'd like to show you how to make the connections from the test fixture to 6517B. Let's start with the voltage leads. They're over here on this side of the test fixture. We just connect them up. The red obviously goes to the red portion of the voltage. The black to the black. So we got plus and minus. We're all set there. Fairly simple. Next let's do the interlock connector because it's safety for us. That's why we have all of that. Right to the 6517B interlock cape connection. And last, we have the ammeter input. We have the standard triax, three lug triax, low noise cable there to the input of the 6517B input. Now we're ready to go. With all the connections set, now all we need to do is set it up on the front panel of the 6517B. And remember how this makes resistance measurements. It forces voltage and measures current. So we have to apply a certain voltage. Let's apply 100 volts. There it is. 100 volts. We select R. Hit the operate button. Select zero check. And there we are. We're reading 99.9 .9 something gig ohm. On a 100 gig ohm resistance, that's pretty good. That's the key here. We source voltage and measure current. Because it's a higher voltage, we needed the safety of the, the test fixture with the interlock to make sure that it is a safe operation.